and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some hair tutorials for you guys that are going to be perfect for back to school. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks on how to achieve these hairstyles, especially if you have short shoulder length hair like I do. But if you have long hair, this will work perfectly as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these hair tutorials. So for the first look, we're going to do the classic messy bun. And if you have hair like me and whenever you try to attempt a messy bun, you have all this hair in the back falling out and it sucks. I'm going to show you my tip. So you want to start from the middle of your ear and draw a line back. The line doesn't have to be perfect. As you can tell, this is not perfect, but just something like that. So with the hair on top, we're going to just smooth it out and or you can leave it a little messy whatever your preference is but we're going to tie it with an elastic and we're just going to wrap it once like that and then the second time we're going to loop it halfway through and then fan out the little messy bun and make it as messy as you want sometimes i like it even messier than this so once we have this little whoop de doop on our head we're just going to bobby pin it down so that it stays close to our head and there's no like weird gap so i'm just going to bobby pin that in and then you can mess it up a little more if you want. I like to pull a little hairs to frame my face. And now with the back of the hair, we're actually going to braid it upwards like this. And make sure you're pulling the braid at an upward angle like this and not straight down. And just braid to the very top and then you can just secure it with a bobby pin. And the ends of my hair are really dead so it actually looks kind of weird if I just like leave it like that. So I like to take a little hair bow like this to cover it up. You don't have to do this but I just prefer to do this to cover my dead ends. And if you don't like the line right there, the part, all you have to do is just gently pull down some of the hairs to make it a little more voluminous and hide the, the parting that we did. And that is basically it for this first look. I am so obsessed with it and I'm so happy I'm finally able to wear my hair in a messy bun. So now for look number two, this is the braided messy bun buns. So you're going to need some extensions for this if you have short hair. And these are from BP Fashion and I love that they actually match my weird colored hair. So I, you don't need to add all of the extensions, we're just going to add a few of the wefts um, to give our hair length. That's what we're really going for. So we're not even trying to make them blend into our hair or anything like that. We just want to get the length so that we can create these buns. So as you can see, I didn't use all of them, but I'm going to have a link below to the VP Fashion Extensions if you guys are interested. But now we're just going to divide our hair in half and I'm going to quickly just do a simple braid onto each side. So once we're done with that, we're going to flip our braid back just like that and we want to bobby pin it right there in this spot right here. And depending on how heavy your hair is with the extensions, you might need to add a few bobby pins. And now with the rest of the hair, I'm going to tug it lightly and continue wrapping it around the little loop that we just did. And feel free to use as many bobby pins as you need, but that is basically it for the side and now we're just going to repeat it onto the next side. And now from here you can choose to make it a little more messier, which I actually love doing. So I'm going to pull some bangs out and just fluff it up. And that is it for look number two. For look number three, this is an easier version of the messy bun buns. So these are just bun buns because there's no braid involved. So with the same extensions, I'm going to split my hair in half and then just twist the hair like this. And you'll notice that it'll start curling up like that. And then once it does, just hold on to it and then continue wrapping the hair around that little twist, if that makes sense. And then you don't even need bobby pins for this. You can use an elastic, a hair tie, and just tie it two times, maybe three times, depending on how thick or thin your hair is. Um, and then, voila, that is basically it. So we're gonna do the same to the next side. Just twist it, and it'll kind of form its shape how it wants to, and then you just follow the, re like follow the shape with the rest of the hair. I hope that made sense. And then just tie it with an elastic. This is like my favorite way to wear the two bun buns because it's so easy, so fast, and I really like how it's messy like that. But if you don't like the little stray hair sticking out, you can definitely bobby pin them. I would normally leave them out, but I'll show you them bobby pin for this tutorial. And 
And voila, that's it for look number three. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which hairstyle you liked best in the comments below. And if you recreate any of these looks, be sure to send them to me and use hashtag JackJack so I can easily find them. And a lot of times what I do when you guys recreate any of my looks is I will take the pictures and put them onto my Facebook page into a folder just for you guys. And I'll give you a little shout out in the um, in the caption so it's a great way to showcase you guys and see your guys' beautiful creations so I think that's all I have to say um, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video and don't forget to check out my last two videos which I will leave linked below and at the end of this video thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye have a magical day I'm dancing to my own music <laughs> If I gave you all my